So I read a story and I thought, oh my God, I have seen every single part of this before. This exact same story, a local Christian group renting out a local government owned facility just for some normal, normal stuff. And then some anti-Christian bigots ripping up the contract and joining us now to talk about it. He's the only man in Canada who cares enough to fight. Our friend, John Carpe, who joins us now via Skype from Calgary. John is the boss of the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms. John, I, I'm not sure if I told that story very well, but that was a big win for us in Nanaimo. We got the city council to back down. It's like uh, I've seen that movie before. This is the, the sequel, but it's just uh, across, it's across the Georgia Strait in uh, New Westminster, BC, am I right? Yeah, it was five years ago, and the, the parallels are striking. Uh, this time, New Westminster, not Nanaimo, but uh, you've got city facilities. Uh, you have a contract in place. There's a small local multicultural church, uh, lots of people from, uh, from Africa, and uh, they don't have their own church building, so they wanted to rent the New Westminster uh, municipal facility, which is called the Anvil Center. They wanted to rent it out for a conference. Conference was called Let God Be True, which is LGBT, kind of a, you know, play on words there, Let God Be True. And, and it was to address, among other things, address, you know, Christian perspective on sexuality and marriage and uh, related issues. And the city just uh, up and canceled the, the contract that they had uh, signed and agreed to. And so now we've got a, a court action on the go. Well, I remember in Nanaimo, and that was when you and I really fought, that was the first time we fought with a petition on TV. And we flew out there and we had a bit of a protest out, outside the city hall. And we really revved things up. We went full tilt, we even had a pollster, we pulled the city. Like I just thought this is, so, and it was crazy there. but. Um, they dug in, they dug in their heels, they dug in their heels, but within a day of you sending them a demand letter, they obviously got legal advice that showed they were going to lose, and they caved in completely. They actually apologized, and I think they wound up paying uh, a, a sum of money to the Christian church. I don't know how much for damages. So that was a huge success, and of course, later that year, the Nanaimo City Hall was, th was thrown out, and, and the mayor came in third, he was just trashed. What's New Westminster doing? They're digging in their heels uh, so far. They're gonna fight us hard on this. And it, it's the same issue, it's, it's intolerance towards um, a religious approach to sexuality and marriage. As you and I both know, um, not every Canadian agrees on uh, when it comes to sex and marriage and sexual morality. You know, on the one hand, on the one side, you've got uh, Muslims and Orthodox Jews and practicing Christians who, uh, you know, have one perspective on sex, and on the other, you've got you know progressive uh, or atheistic secularist. And the thing is, in a free country, you allow both views and you allow uh, members of um, of both sides to use silly f city facilities. I mean, this is just a basic. This is a basic fundamental freedom. If if the if the city is going to have uh, city-owned facilities that are available for rental, then you can't say, well, you're only allowed to use the city facilities if you have the correct uh, viewpoint on uh, on marriage and sexuality. And that was the reason for the cancellation in in both in the Nanaimo case. Uh, there was one of the sponsors of the uh, telecast uh, international Sky, Skype conference uh, was uh, was Dan Cathy with Chick-fil-A, who was on record as opposing uh, same-sex marriage. And now here in, uh, in BC, it's, it's the same old thing. It's the same old, same old. You've got the city saying, you know, you can't have the uh, incorrect view on, uh, on sexuality. Um, and, and if you don't think the way that we do, then you're not allowed to use city-owned facilities. And that's just completely unacceptable. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.